Welcome back, Okra Heads. Uh, good to see, uh, be with you again. Halo Okra Heads here. Just bringing you a live war. We are 36 minutes um, to the war ends, We are and we are down five. We are hoping we can get a victory here. I just want to show you some replays. The first one from a new member, Rod Bender. Uh, strong attack here. He's using even uh, Valkyries, which is very unique. Using the four wall breakers. Uh, very... A very cool attack here. Four wall breaker. I mean, the four uh, earthquakes. Sorry, uh, some witches, the golems, pekkas, wizards, and two heroes and three jump spell. I mean, three rage spells. So definitely at the beginning, clearing a path for his heroes and pekkas. Uh, and he starts to go in here, uh, a blazing rages um, those wizards and the witch. I mean, and the um, queen to make sure to take down that um, dragon. Now what he does interesting here, uh, he puts his king on the outside. Now this is definitely uh, unique um, for most attacks. Most attackers use um, the king in the middle to tank some for the queen and to make sure it gets that town hall. But he puts his on the outside to see what he can, I guess, maybe you know, tank for some of his wizards there. He also has a P.E.K.K.A. out there. So definitely good tanking and plenty of witches. I think all his witches went or all but one maybe went on the outside uh, so the inside there is looking a little rough uh, but the queen is still strong and she has plenty of tank in front of her so I think she'll be able to take that out uh, with a minute left um, this is going to be looking like a three star here uh, and um, uh, definitely very nice nice attack here uh, kind of unorthodox in the sense the king went on the outside but I talked to Rodbender and he said he likes to put him on the outside to kind of tank um, for some of his wizards and to um, uh, get uh, some of those outside units as well. So if it works for him, uh, then that's great. But that's a great three star um, um, from our attacker. And then I wanted to show you next an attack from First. First has been in the clan uh, a long time, longer than I have. Uh, again, I'm newer to the disco to party. Um, but just kind of um, passionately been involved here. But he takes his attack on uh, the number 12. Now this is, was a cleanup, um, but still a great attack nonetheless. Uh, this was down to the wire, so we wanted our to make sure we got three stars on the first attack here. Uh, and, and we didn't you know, have a mirror attacking number 12. But he's using the you know, uh, P.E.K.K.A.s, Golems, Wizards, and Witches as well with two heroes. The heroes are really important. And both of his heroes went into the center, which is very key. I think having the, the both heroes in the center is important, especially if you do not have the golems go towards the center or some of the pekkas, because what will happen is the queen will be left alone. And you can tell here, she's just a level 12 queen, but she's doing great damage. And he pr places these heal spells very nicely. So look at that. The the queen is getting healed by that heal spell. Abel, very huge because able to heal her back up so she can take care of some of these defenses, especially that cannon and some of those uh, archer towers on the outside trying to pick her off and some of the other wizards. Uh, but this is uh, another great attack by our number five uh, first. Solid attack. Um, plenty of time left too. Um, and he's got plenty of tank as well. Um, got those Pekkas on the outside, going to take care of that. And with the king there, uh, not even used his um, Iron Fist, then, you know, this, this raid is just is really simple for him. Of course, he is dropping down seven, but still, nonetheless, solid raid. Just going to speed it up here. Um, and we are trying to come for the comeback here. Again, we are 36 minutes from our uh, the end, actually 32 minutes now, and we're still only down five. Um, so we're going to go and watch live. This is a live attack from Heavy. This is our number one player. And let's see what he does. Now he is attacking a level nine base. So hopefully he can get a three star here. We'll see what happens. He's got good centralization. The only problem, the king is on the outside. Now he could be, it could be a good thing if he can tank for some more of those, those wizards there. So hopefully those wizards will be able to... Uh, um, take out some of those buildings uh, but we'll see what happens here he's in the middle um, kind of uh, trying to push through but he's stuck on some of the walls 
those walls uh, are holding his golems back. He doesn't have any jump spells left or wall breakers, so he can't get through. Stuck on the walls, and those Teslas are just ripping him to shreds. Um, I don't think he's going to get the three star there, so I'm going to skip out, and I'm going to show you a replay from yours truly. Halo Okraheads attacking. Now I want to pause it. What is my strategy? So his two air defenses are on the outside. This is a brilliant strategy for using eight loons and seven in the clan castle to take out those air defenses. So then all you have left is ten dragons. And so this is what I do. Um, put the rage spell, great rage spell placement. They're going to take out those buildings. Now what I failed there, I should not have put that dragon down before using my loons against um, uh, that uh, second air defense. Well, I was a little afraid of that wizard tower just destroying my loons before they could get to the air defense. So that's why I put the dragon there, but it was a bad move because I ended up losing a dragon, which I didn't need to. So here I rush in. Things are looking great. At this point, I thought, I thought I've got the two star. This is an automatic two star. I've got this. This is easy. But what I didn't realize, look at that air sweeper in the right hand of the screen. It's pushing my dragons down. And it really pissed me off because if it didn't, if the air sweeper was not there, all those dragons you see on the bottom of the screen now, wandering off to the sides, they would have been right at the town hall. I would have gotten the two star easy. But now without my queen, because I'm always, always upgrading uh, my heroes, I don't usually play with two heroes at once, so it could be very dangerous. But anyways, there you go. Another live war attack. Some of our uh, clan mates there. Uh, looking forward to the next war. Hopefully we can pull out a victory here. I will bring you more updates tomorrow to see if, you, see if we won. But again, we're up a level 8 clan. But anyways, there you go. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. And as always, Halo out.